Okay, so let's have a look at um, some stats kind of questions. Again, this should be useful for Paper 4, IGCSE 0580 and 0607, uh, in particular the Paper 4 uh, longer style questions. Okay, here's the first one. Um, uh, so we've got 50 students and we're trying to estimate, or well, they're trying to estimate the, the weight uh, of sweets in a jar and then we want to have an estimate of the mean um, uh, the mean guess that they're going to make. Okay, so this kind of question, well, a number of students, that's a frequency. Uh, whenever we've got some kind of uh, domain here where we don't know the actual value, we just know it's between 0 and 200, we just take the midpoint, well, halfway between 0 and 200 is 100, halfway between 200 and 300 is 250, etc etc we work out the midpoints these are pretty easy to work out if they're more difficult we just add the two and then divide by two in effect find the average but these are pretty easy just to see what they're going to be so right down the midpoint uh, you then just do midpoint times frequency so midpoint times frequency midpoint times frequency add all those together it gives us 15,800 add the total frequencies together which is 50 Okay, don't make the mistake of just counting how many columns. We've got one, two, three, four, five rows. We don't just do 15,800 divided by five. We do uh, the total number of students. So 15,800 divided by 50 equals, there we go, 316. Okay, this should be pretty easy four marks as long as you remember to write down each step uh, along the way. You get one mark just for writing the midpoint, one for doing the midpoint times frequency, one for dividing it by 50, and then obviously your final mark for the answer. Okay, next one. Uh, it says complete the histogram to show the information in the table. Um, so this is the, the, the table that we'd got previously, uh, what we were given from the previous question. Uh, okay, whenever you see histogram, then you're going to be thinking frequency density. Now, frequency density, um, we need to do frequency divided by class width. So in this case here the frequency is 5, class width is 200, so I need to do 5 divided by 200. I need to do 9 divided by 100, 18 divided by 50, etc, etc. Okay, um, and this is just a very rough sketch. I'm sure you could do a bit neater with a ruler in the actual exam. Um, I, I now just need to actually plot the points here. So from 200 to 300, well, I've done 9 divided by 100, that's going to be 0 0.09, uh, so I need to go up to 0 0.09 and then draw that, and there, there goes my, t my, my t thing for this one, and equally for this one I need to do 18 divided by 50, uh, whatever that gives me, and then plot it up there, and I'm going to get some kind of table that lo looks like that. As I said, make sure you do it a bit neater in the exam, but it's going to look something a little bit like that. Just be really careful on this one, they're, they're kind of nasty on this question. Um, you need to look at the scale here, so this is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.4 and so basically think about, you know, that we've basically got uh, in this case here, yeah we've got two, three, we've got ten little spaces you know, so we're going to go, this is going to be 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33 you know, so be careful on the scale, because they sometimes change the scales on the different axes so you know like, how to plot them correctly. So there we go, so we, we've drawn a histogram. Um, next one, we then use a cumulative frequency. So we're still doing the same, same question, same bit of information. Cumulative frequency, well, the first one is still just 72. But the cumulative, so we add the previous answers. So up to 2. Uh, we're going to do 72 plus 21, so that's going to give us 93. Up to and including 3, we're going to do 72 plus 21 plus 9, and then so on and so on and so on. So we, we keep on adding everything up to what we've got so far. Okay, so the final answer should then give us 120. Um, we can then plot that uh, on a, uh, a table. So there's our cumulative frequency. All you need to remember for this one is to plot the top of the interval. So I'm going to plot 1 and 72. So 1 and then 72. I'm going to plot 2 and 93. 
and then 3 and 102 and so on and so on. Again, it should be a nice smooth curve. Yeah, I've done this nice and roughly. I make sure in the exam you do it nice and smooth. Use your pencil. It's going to look something like that. Um, if something's gone wrong on your cumulative frequency, if you start coming down again, it should finish at the maximum value, which in your case is going to be 120. Okay, so that's our cumulative frequency curve. Um, and then we use this curve to find, well, in this case here, the median. Well, halfway from 120 is 60. So we go across from 60, and then we read down. It's this value here. Again, nice and it's a little bit small to see. It's around about 0.8, so that's going to be the median for this one. Okay, again, just check you look at the scale. We've got 10 little uh, spaces for one, so each little space is going to be 0.1. But be careful on this scale, on the y-axis, we're going up in 2, because that between, halfway between 10 and 20, uh, 10, uh, yes, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you need to just be careful on the scales on that one, and um, just count how many squares you've got, and then work out how many squares are equal to what value. Okay, so the median is 0 0.8, anyway. Um, the second one, interquartile range. Well, how do you find the interquartile range? Well, that's going to be the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. And then in this case here, well, the lower quartile is one quarter of 120, which is going to be the 30th value. So we look at the 30th value. The answer is not 30, but it's the 30th value. The upper quartile value, do three quarters of 120. So it's the 90th uh, value. And then we, we work out with this the 30th value. We read off this value here, which is going to be 0 0.4. And then the 90th value, we read off this value here. It's going to be about 1.7. Therefore, the interquartile range is going to be 1.7 take away 0 0.4, which is going to be, there we go, 1.3. And the last one, the 35th percentile. Well, 35% of 120 is going to be the 42nd value. So there's my 42nd value. Go across the line, go down, and there we go. It's going to be around about 0.5. So the 35th percentile is 0.5. Okay, there we go.